clearly out of batteries. Here's what's funny. I have a whole plastic baggie in my um, uh, laundry room of all the stuff that I need to go take to the store today and get batteries. This would be one of them. Although, <laughs> the very fact that I'm holding this up is making me um, condemn myself because I said that, and I do this so often, I want to attack these bad habits. Um, I tend to stick with things that are habitual or things that I know, things that are comfortable. And you guys, that's like a life lesson, right? We tend to do the same things all the time. I park in the same space when I go shopping. I've been using the same Sony camcorder since I started vlogging in 2009, 2010 maybe. Um, and I have this wonderful Samsung Galaxy camera that does voice activated photos and videos and automatically uploads them. And I have it set up and it can fit in my tripod here and I'm not using it. And you know why? The number one reason, the only thing I can say so far without regularly using it for my videos that I'm disappointed in it is I really do like this. I like being able, because right now I'm facing, when I shoot my videos, I face the camera and I can see myself, because I'm shallow like that, but I can see myself, you know, who knows if I'm shooting a video and I'd be like this the whole time. Blah, 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 blah. See what I'm saying? I can see if I'm in the frame, especially when I'm flexing. By the way, Mr. Flo, you said I wasn't flexing in a while. Sorry, but I'm not taking this off. It's a little cold. Um, so, all that said, that is my goal. I'm taking out the Samsung Galaxy camera and I'm going to figure out how I can use it to shoot my vlogs. Um, I think my hesitation to like dive in full force with that is I, when I'm shooting that, it's gonna be facing me and I will not be able to see the feedback here. I won't be able to see how long I've been going. Um, I'm gonna have to ask Bonnie about that because Bonnie and Steve did a review, so I'm gonna see what they think about that. But it's the only thing that has kept me from really diving into that full force. So anyway, I just finished my workout. As you can see, I'm having my typical uh, breakfast, although I'm kind of embarrassed how late it is. Because I slept in today. Ah, uh, it's my princess mug. Princess here, princess there. And no, I still haven't figured out where to buy these. So, a um, couple of things. Um, uh, I just wanted to talk this video about um, the training. Because um, I should be meeting with Mark. I'm back in Chicago right now. Um, gosh, I have so much to update you guys on. Um, I was really going to be staying in Miami for um, December, but we had kind of a... Um, there was a lot that, well, let me just, let's do that. And then I'll make my next video be about training and, and food and all of that. Um, I don't even remember already what I talked about. Video number one. Probably Betty Rocker stuff, right? The food. Um, so let me give you kind of an update. Because I think the last video I shot was before I went down for the Disney Wine and Dine, which was early November. Now it's post Thanksgiving. So, um, I think as many of you have said, you can gather that because <laughs> you haven't seen me blogging or um, posting videos, things have been really busy. So, and, and they're only going to continue to do so, but hopefully with a new assistant here, I'm going to have some more of my own time back, which will be nice. Time mastery, not time management. My shoulders look really small when I stand like that. Um, so here's the deal. So right before, um, my BFF Kelly, uh, Gregorakis, which I learned I've been pronouncing her last name wrong all these years. It's Gregorakis, not Gregorakis. Um, she's, uh, my BFF down in Miami and she had kindly said to me, you know, this was back in June we started talking about this. She said, why don't you come for a trip down in Miami and stay, I always stay at her house when I visit. And uh, she said, you know, come down and stay longer, you know, stay for a couple weeks, stay for a month or whatever. So I remember saying to her, okay, well, as soon as I figure out, you know, once I get all these trips out of the way, we'll do it. Well, then what happened is, let's see, what was in July? Um, I think we went up to Boston several times. And then early August, we were out in LA for the idea thing. Um, and it was shortly after that, um, 
sorry, I thought my iPod was doing something strange. It was shortly after that that I came back. My Achilles started to bother me. Was that before LA? Um, but I had that and then um, we had like trip up. I, I thought I would be going to Miami in August. And then it was weird because all of these unexpected trips came up back to back to back to back. Um, and then I had to be downtown to speak at the social media club um, five year anniversary. So then I couldn't go that week. And then I was like, oh, I can't go this week because I'm gonna be in LA for the Lenovo tablet um, uh, launch with Ashton Kutcher. And then there was a trip up to Boston for an event up there. And then there was, I think another trip to LA and then there was a New York and then there was the Disney Wine and Dine. So we were down at the Disney Wine and Dine. I think that finally I realized that weekend, which was November 9th, I think, the D Disney Wine and Dine, stuff on my pants. Um, the Disney Wine and Dine, I finally realized, okay, that's going to be my last trip that I need to do for this year. So I told Kelly I'd fly down to Disney um, and then I would have her fly back up um, and then in the midst of all this, by the way, there was like a Hawaii trip that canceled, a New York trip that canceled. There were all these trips like converging. And then there was in the middle of all of this too, of course, my Achilles issue, seeing Mark, getting totally new training, um, really being upset about that, obviously, not the new training, my injury and all of that. Um, so all that was happening, all this crazy travel. Um, certainly there were several times I was taking some of this. So getting run down and whatnot. But then I finally coordinated with Kelly that I would fly to Orlando one way and then she would come join me for that weekend for the Disney Ryan, run, wine and dine. I almost said Ryan and dine. Disney wine and dine weekend. So a bunch of our fit influential girls were down there running it. Um, and then we would head down to Miami. I would drive down to Miami with her. And then my plan was, I was just gonna stay down there potentially for the holidays um, because it would give me a chance to start looking for, you know, houses and just kind of get a feel for it, you know. Fail. On camera. Um, that's what happens when you have boobs. You have a shelf there. Um, so, went down for the wine and dine weekend. Suffice it to say, that was a little bit stressful. It's um, stressful being at Disney when you are not like there and you don't have kids and you're not, you haven't planned your Disney stay like eight years in advance because apparently everything needs reservations and there was just a lot of people. But we were kind of like, okay, let's head down to Miami. So we drove down to Miami on a Sunday. I remember getting to Kelly's house on the Sunday. Now Kelly's house is just, she, she now lives there alone. She used to have her daughter living with her, but now her daughter is engaged to, um, Mike James, who plays running back for Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? So they had moved up to Tampa, um, and they were they were gone. So that's why Kelly was like, "Hey, you know, you can you can sleep in Aubrey's room." And blah 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 blah. Oh, God, I'm having a knee issue. I'll get back to that in a minute. So we get down there um, on Sunday. She and I went to go see a movie on Sunday. Kind of get unpacked. Well, then Monday we're watching Monday night's game. That was Tampa Bay versus Miami. And we're like, all right, Mike, and all of this stuff. And then we, he gets like tackled and someone's like, it looked like, I don't know, he, he got injured obviously. So um, he was taken out of the game and um, long story short, all of a sudden they were coming down to Miami, which was awesome. Don't get me wrong, because these are people that I just, I just love. They're like my family. These people are my family. Um, so we got to spend time, but all of a sudden with them being down in Miami because he'd injured his foot, um, we had like a full house and it was just kind of crazy. Um, so that happened, what something else happened? Um, and it was just, it was a little bit chaotic. And then, um, I had a call that required me to come up to Chicago and this was last week right before Thanksgiving, yeah, last week. And so I realized, okay, this is kind of silly because if I'm gonna fly home, I, I don't wanna fly home before Thanksgiving, then fly back down the week of Thanksgiving, change all these flights, and then am I gonna stay for, you know, that time? And um, I just kind of realized like, 
I might go down there after Christmas and then stay in, in January or whatever. But there was just kind of a lot of stuff that got very chaotic, which is typical. But um, it's been a very, up until that moment and up until last week, the few months prior to that, it's just been, my life has just been insane. And I've probably said that a million times in my videos, and you guys might go, how could your life be more insane? You've been saying that forever. But really, I can't, I can't get into a lot of the details, and it would bore you to tears, of what's going on with the business. But our business has had some big, huge changes, and I have to be involved in all of those. And it's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of deadlines, a lot of big decisions, a lot of stress. And so to have that kind of piling down on me, and then this injury thing, totally shuffled up what I'm used to, right? So I'm used to having my system where I get up every morning, I did my, my cardio, and I had my meals, and I knew what I was eating, and all of a sudden, everything was in flux. You know, I started training with Mark, and then remember I got sick, and you know, I think me getting sick so much this year had just has to do with, you know, getting run down. I let myself get run down, and I, I know better, I don't get enough sleep and I, I let stress get to me too much and so sometimes I have to step back and go, wait, you're falling back into old habits again. And I think a big part of what I want to impart to you, and I will say in probably a lot of my next videos, big part of what I've learned is, you know, and I've said this before, you have to, picking on my calluses, you, you have to, if you really want to be successful, you have to really track yourself you you're gonna have you're gonna find that it's very easy to slip back into bad habits as much as you can be really successful and get moving in the right direction right make big changes you don't fool yourself don't think don't get all cocky and think oh i've got this whatever because what i've learned the past two or three months it's probably been about three months of just madness I'm, i mean i'm shooting my vlog here i kid you not i feel like the last three weeks it's what what's the date the date is November 29th. I feel like t it's been three weeks, a total blur. I mean, it seems like yesterday that I was heading down to um, Orlando for the Disney. And then before that, I literally was sitting there and it was Kelly that was remembering, you know, all of the trips I went to. She's like, then you went here, then you went here. And I'm like, Pfft. and she pointed out a Facebook post and she goes, Kelly, you and I started talking about you coming to Miami the end of June. That's how long it took. So. All I know is that I took a step back when I was down in Florida. I was able to start running again. But I will tell you, I'm learning about my body. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna talk to Mark, he's gonna assess me and everything and I wanna tell him about this stuff when I get there. I'm not gonna be able to run the way I want to run. I'd like to run more. Not specifically because there's a fitness school associated with it, I just enjoy it. But I did find that as I started to run a little bit more each time I ventured out in Florida, that I'd get to a certain point and I could really feel um, my calves, you know, and, I, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be stupid. You know, I've gotta come back, I've gotta make sure I'm doing all of my stretching. So I'm gonna talk to him about that. But, you know, I think that as I get older and with, there just seems to be a lot going on with my legs, with my knees and below, um, that sometimes you have to adjust and sometimes you have to get over it. But all that said, with all of this crazy travel, work pressure, um, family stuff going on, me deciding about moving, when I'm gonna move, all of this stuff, um, a lot of big changes and a lot of big stresses and I found myself falling back into old habits. And I know better. And, and I'm so excited about the changes I have made, but yet here I was, not grocery shopping again, not planning ahead, working until eight, seven or eight o'clock some nights, and I look back and go, oh great, well I had my breakfast, haven't eaten anything else, and then I come out here and I live alone. I can't order from Peapod and have it delivered in an hour. So yeah, I would want to have a great salad. I would want to have salmon with black rice or whatever. You know, it's not like I want to go out and eat bad food. Then I was, you know, I'd feel funny. I'd, some nights I would feel nauseated, and I know that's from having an empty stomach. You know, these are all things like you know better, but I'm sitting there going, golly, I'm falling back into these ridiculous habits where I'm getting stressed again, I don't have food, and then I'm getting to the end of the night going, I gotta eat something, I gotta eat something, and it's either gonna be, you know, then I do it again, because I'm too tired, I'm too tired to go, and I would, 
argue with myself. I'm like, God, I really should just go to the grocery store, get some stuff for a salad. But I would be like, the whole thought of going to Trader Joe's right now and, and it'll take longer. I don't feel like making conversation with anybody. You know, like I had a headache. Incidentally, in the middle of all of this, which is why I'm another reason I have to come back and, and see my doctor, is, you know, our friend, um, and this has to do with just hormonal issues, but our friend Aunt Flo has just been my constant companion for probably like eight weeks straight to some degree. What does that tell you? It's a lot going on. So um, I just got stressed and there were too many times, um, I told you I have a problem picking blisters and stuff. So if I have calluses, I'm gonna pick them. Um, there were just way too many times before I got to Florida um, that I was like exhausted and then I'd, I'd go to McDonald's one night. You know, and some people might go, oh my God, you know, what you're so, of course, I know it's not the best choice. On the other hand, if I felt like having an indulgence meal, there's something, I have no problem going to McDonald's and getting, I, my favorite thing is a fish sandwich meal. Um, so I'd love to get a fish sandwich um, with fries and a Diet Coke. Not gonna lie, Kelly. So, um, but the thing is, is when you're, when you're on your game and you know that you can go have cheat meals or you know that you can miss a workout or whatever, it's, it's fine. But sometimes you don't realize when you've slipped into being remarkably off your game. And then it's nights, I had several nights where in my head, because I wasn't stopping myself and I wasn't, you know, tracking everything and, and paying attention. And then all of a sudden it was like, wait a minute, you know, there were, a, I didn't shop over the weekend, so I ordered a pizza. And I ordered, you know, I had pizza like Saturday night and then I, no, I wouldn't keep it. But I would have pizza Saturday night and then didn't have any groceries. And again, I was just so exhausted that I'm like, well, I'll order Jimmy John's. And I'd order Jimmy John's on the multi-grain bread with the veggie sandwich. But again, those are not the best choices for my body. My body doesn't respond well to um, whole wheat, or not even, I don't want to say whole wheat. My body doesn't respond well when I'm having um, foods with flour. My body doesn't respond well when I'm having sugar. My body doesn't respond well when I'm having packaged foods, okay? Different strokes for different folks. But when I am in that phase and I don't have a nice selection of my good foods here, this is common sense, um, I, get, I let work overwhelm me. This is gonna be something I'm gonna have to fight the rest of my life and figure it out. Um, but I let work overwhelm me and then I'm going and I'm eating foods that are not best for me and my body just gets in a funk, you know? And that's, I've always said that. Whatever you did yesterday and the day before is what your body's gonna tell you that you want to do the next day. You know, if I've been laying on the couch for two days because I was sick and taking Zycam every six hours and trying to get over the sore throat and going into the, um, to my bathroom with the, um, what is it, the flashlight, trying to see if I have the white spots because I'm so paranoid. Remember back in February, I was sick for like eight weeks with walking pneumonia and tonsillitis and strep throat. Remember that whole thing? So whenever my glands start to get all swollen, which they were last week, I get very paranoid and I start to rest. Well, guess what? When you start to rest like that, which you should, you and, and then the only thing you want, or that I want, when I'm sick and kind of nauseated and having this, is like all I want is oatmeal or uh, plain mashed potatoes from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Or um, I'm not gonna lie, I seem to tend to want when I'm feeling sick and nauseated. I want like warm food that's like, I guess it's comfort food. Like when I see something um, on TV and it's like rice, I'm like, oh, I want a big thing of rice aroni, broccoli and cheese rice. You know, that's to me what makes me feel better. And I'm not saying food is a comfort in, oh, I want to cheat and make myself feel better because I'm depressed. I mean, like, when I'm physically not feeling well, the only thing that I want to eat that I think will settle my stomach, that's what I tend to go with. So there's just been way too many times where I felt like that. Um, when I first, and I do think that the whole feeling nauseated, I'm almost at 20 minutes, people. I was getting this point, to this point where I was feeling nauseated a lot at night. And, and I was around Kelly and I'm like, why? What is, what is wrong with me? Why am I nauseated right now? Where I'd feel like I'd need to eat, you know, I would go into her kitchen and I'd grab, you know, a piece of pita bread and, and have a couple things of pita bread or some crackers and then I'd feel better and, you know, it went away after a few days. I, I frankly think that I get nauseated when I'm stressed. I think it's more like a stress reaction. Um, you know what it's like if you if you don't eat a lot, you haven't eaten all day, and you have that 
you, it's almost like a dry heat. I guess that's what I'm saying. When I say nauseated, it's dry heat because I, I don't actually throw up. But all that said, when you allow life to kind of get in, it's and, and, and stress you out. It's so easy to get back into bad habits. And so many of you guys watch my, my videos, you read my blog, we connect on Facebook, and you go, how do you stay so motivated? How do you stay? Sometimes I'm not, and yet I don't even realize it. I think the key is, the key is to be involved in each other's lives like this, so that, and then to also catch yourself. You gotta catch yourself. You know, I went to go put on one of my workout tops in Florida, and I was, I don't know, I was doing something, I was doing like the rear view thing, and I was like, holy hell, because that's what I used to do up here, and I'd be so excited that that back fat right here, this little area, oh, biggest pet peeve. And I was looking in the rear view mirror, I'm like, oh my God, it's gotten bigger, it's come back! And it was very upsetting, but then, I have to be honest, guys, so I'm not gonna sit here and be lame and go, oh, it must be the new workout that I'm doing. It must be that I'm not doing all of the cardio that I was doing before. It's, you know, it's the new workout, that's it. Now, that could have something to do with it because I do believe my body responds to having, um, being able to run and being able to do some cardio. I've talked to Mark about this. I'm not gonna say anything different. Um, but I have to take responsibility and when you take responsibility, you'll start to feel better because now, I'm not lying to you. I was upset, but I'm cool with it because I know what I need to do to tighten it back up, to move back in and start having my breakfast. That's why I got this whole, the whole Betty Rocker thing because I'm like, that's what I need. I need somebody to tell me, in lieu of my assistant being able to come over, someone to say, Kelly, this is what you buy and this is what you can make and now you have some smoothie recipes, you have this, you're not gonna get bored, you're gonna eat enough during the day, you're gonna feel better, blah, 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 blah. You see what I mean? So please, Take this to heart. So many of you write to me and you go, I, I wish I could get to the place that you are, that, that you're, you know, you're on it, you're whatever. Guys, it's like a lifelong thing. I have no doubt that I will, you know, fall off the horse again or, or be down again or let life overwhelm me again. And you just gotta, the thing is awareness. And, and the more that you get involved with people and, and that you get inspired, if you, I mean, this is my opinion. If you're on Instagram and you're seeing other people that inspire you, and then maybe you haven't worked out for a few days and you go to put your workout clothes on and your workout clothes are tighter than before, um, or, or, or whatever it is, you put on some holiday um, outfits and you're upset, that's the best thing. Because what you don't wanna do is just keep buying bigger clothes and going, well, screw it. You know, I did that when this whole, this is gonna be a really long vlog. I did this when um, perimenopause first hit me. You know, I had, I had this skin problem, I had weight gain and whatever, and I took the wuss way out. I was like, oh, well this is just me. I'll just hide out in my apartment all the time because I'm gonna be stressed and obviously I'm the only one. I would say this to myself, you guys. I'd say, I'm the only one that can't lose weight. Guess what? I figured it out, I've lost weight, and now I don't freak out. I'm not happy about it, but I don't freak out when I realize, whoa, whoa. You've been having a little bit too many of those ridiculous cheat moments that you didn't plan, and a little bit too many times that you didn't do your full workout because you weren't. So it's time to tighten up, it's time to get back on track, and guess what? I'm already seeing results now that I've been home for just a, a little over a week. I don't even know what day it is. But anyway, take heart, know that it's a lifelong journey, Start, you can start again any single day. And I should really just start doing shorter videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs>